What is going on, people? Welcome back to NCAA Football 14. Playing Road to Glory with Willie Mays Hayes, who is my running back, halfback, specialist. And I am still in high school here, but by the end of the video, we will have finished our high school career, and I will have a list of colleges that have offered Willie Mays a scholarship to attend their college and play football for them. And I'm going to have you guys, the fans, subscribers, viewers, vote for which college team you'd like to see Willie Hayes attend. Um, like I said in previous videos, I would like to see Willie go to a smaller school, not necessarily a dinky school, somebody that's in a decent conference um, that might be like middle of the road or even bottom of the road of that conference. So like somebody, I'm not going to give examples, but like a team in the SEC, a team in the ACC, a team in the Big Ten, something like that. One of the more major conferences in college football, so we will be playing tough competition, but not expected to be very good, and that's what I want. I want to see if I can make a difference on that team, take them to a good bowl game or something like that. Also, when you start playing for uh, lesser teams, you have a better opportunity to start quicker. So that's what I'm kind of going for. See if we can get Willie Hayes, like, maybe a rushing rushing title. I don't know how, what they call him in NCAA football. I guess a rushing record, team records, um, NCAA records, in rushing yards, touchdowns, that sort of thing. That would be awesome. So that's the goal right now. So, like I said, stick to the end of the video. You'll see a list of teams that have offered me a scholarship. I'd like you to vote between those guys. Obviously, you guys can... Uh, pick whatever you want even if they're not on there because you can do walk-ons um, I would like to just stick with the teams that have chosen to take me uh, but feel free to write in whatever you want I'll take the all the comments probably next week sometime maybe Wednesday or so um, take all the votes and figure out which team got the most votes and then uh, join that team so will the next video you will see it'll have me on the new team uh, a couple things going on. I just recently purchased a new computer. I built it all myself, all the components and everything. Um, put all that together. That's why I've kind of been MIA the last few days. Uh, it's been a little bit of a struggle. I had some bad memory that I bought um, that came with it. Didn't really work right. I was getting some blue screens. I ran some memory tests, and it turned out that there was some problems with the memory sticks that I got. So I took those back, got some new ones. Um, changed my configuration around, around just a little bit. So basically the specs on the PC, it's uh, Intel i7-4770K, which is like basically the fastest normal processor. They have some extreme models that have like more cores and stuff, but this is basically the, the fastest i7 right now. Uh, I got 16 gigs of memory. I got a 240 gig SSD drive, that's my boot drive, uh, and then I have three discs in a RAID 5, that's my data drive. Uh, it's got a NVIDIA GTX 6600 Ti video card in it, and I guess that's about all the real specs. <laughs> It's got some fans and all that crap in there, but yeah, basically put all that together, so it should be pretty awesome for live stream. And I think I just did a test the other day, even with the bad memory in it, uh, I was able to stream at 1080p at 60 frames a second without any lag or anything. So that's going to be awesome for live streams coming up. Um, I get an, another monitor coming on Monday, so I'll have dual monitor set up, then I can really start live stream. It's kind of hard to stream with one monitor because the monitor that I have hooked to my computer, I also have hooked to my Xbox and PlayStation, so I have to switch the input when I want to play Xbox so I don't get to see my computer screen. So once that second monitor comes in, we will really start streaming some more, again, uh, baseball and football, uh, and streaming the Dynasty games. And speaking of Dynasty games, <laughs> yesterday I played two Dynasty games in my online Dynasty. I won one and I lost one. Unfortunately, the one I won while I was recording my computer blue screened and I lost the footage so I will upload the video of me losing it was a pretty close game I uh, unfortunately could not move the ball in the red zone like I was able to move the ball and get down to the red zone several times I had to settle for field goals and it really cost me in the game also my defense let me down on several occasions 
Uh, specifically on like out patterns and stuff or crossing patterns. I just couldn't figure out what kind of defense to run to stop that kind of stuff. And when I upload that video, which should be next week sometime, I'll have you guys take a look at it. and You guys can kind of give me some pointers and tips on certain type of defenses to stop some of those uh, crossing patterns and out patterns because it basically was killing me all game. But uh, we will see that pretty soon. Uh, like I said, I have that one game that I lost recorded, the game I won, failed to record, unfortunately. But it looks like the Dynasty is going to move along very quickly, several games a week. So uh, expect to see quite a bit of that footage pretty soon. I think a lot of people enjoy watching the Dynasty footage and online footage a little bit more than the Road to Glory. Because after all, in Road to Glory, you're basically seeing the exact same plays over and over again. You can see with this high school team that I play... We run to the we run the ball to the right side of the field almost every single play, and it's kind of annoying. So hopefully that changed a little bit in college. I assume you run to your strengths, right? So if your uh, your tackle on that side and your guard on that side are much better than the the left side, then maybe you run that way a little bit more. Maybe you got better run blocking support on that side, which is understandable. However, it gets kind of boring and tedious if you're running to the same side every time. Not to mention, if you keep running to that side, the ball's going to stay on that hash all game. So you don't really have as much room on that side of the field to cut outside and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we went to here. This is the last few uh, colleges that have offered me scholarships. So we'll go into the college choices. So this is basically all the teams that have offered me scholarships. So you can see there which ones you can choose from. So basically, Miami University, which is the smaller school, Purdue. And then I skip out of here. <laughs> I'm going to go to signing day so you can see like what string I'll be at. So Texas, TCU, Miami, Arkansas, Louisville, West Virginia, Missouri, Georgia Tech, Purdue, and Miami University. And you can see basically what string I would be. Obviously Miami, Miami University is in the MAC, so that's probably not the best conference to go to. But Purdue is an interesting choice. That's in the Big Ten. They're not the greatest uh, thing. You also have to look at the uh, style of offense they run. You know, I don't know if I really want to be in a spread offense. An option offense is, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the quarterback might be taking the ball quite a bit that way. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking Purdue sounds very good, Arkansas, or even Miami, even though Arkansas and Miami are pretty decent teams. Louisville wouldn't be too bad either, so whatever you guys want, though. Like I said, if you want to write in a vote, go ahead, or just uh, type in which team you want me to go to, and uh, I will calculate all the votes probably on Tuesday, and then uh, have a video up later that week with my selection, so... Vote now, write in a comment below, and uh, thanks again for watching. Peace.